G'day everybody, I'm Wayne from Lander Bay Fishing. Thanks for coming back to the channel and I hope you get something out of this video. If you haven't already, subscribe and if you get anything out of this video, hit that like button for me because it helps the channel immensely. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So to give you an idea where Scarborough is, just north of Brisbane is the Redcliffe Peninsula. At the, right at the end of the northern end of uh, Redcliffe Peninsula is Scarborough. So what we're looking at here is a view down toward Redcliffe Jetty. Uh, you can see the foreshores there. And keep your eyes on the foreshores just, just for the moment. And you'll see the foreshores there are quite rough and rocky. It looks it. there are plenty of places to find yourself a nice soft sandy plot to sit. And, uh, and throw your unweighted baits out into the structure. Now you will get some snags, you won't totally avoid the snags, but my goodness, hold on, because there are a lot of big brim that hunt the shallows in, the, in and around this rough structure. If you really take note of uh, the middle of the screen here, you can see those darker shapes. Well, those darker shapes is the reef system that runs right throughout this area. So the two main species that I chase here are brim and snapper through the winter. The um, snapper have just changed, the, the regulations in relation to snapper have just changed, so 15th of July through the 15th of August. Next year, we won't be allowed to fish for snapper. The, the other species that I chase here, brim, uh, the brim are awfully big out here at Scarborough, which exactly what you want. Um, no weight or very light weight for both snapper and brim, and you'll get amongst it. So like anywhere, the time of day that I like fishing Scarborough is first light and last light. From about in the winter time, it doesn't get light here until about 6, 6.15. So from about 5.30 through to about 8.30, um, that, that, that's the time that I like to, to target snapper and, and brim. Once it gets past 8.30, two things happen. You get a little bit more breeze come up. Um, the sun's a lot higher in the sky. The waters are very clear through the winter time, so every single movement and shadow on the water, the fish notice and they're very flighty. So just in relation to tides, you've got low tide, mid tide and high tide. All the tides you can find a place to fish up here. They're, um, the opportunities are everywhere at any tide. Uh, low tide, I do like to collect my bait at low tide, so my worms and uh, I'll throw a cast net for herring. Whether you're boat based or land based, this is one of my favourite uh, little squidding spots this rock wall that we're looking at here in the winter time very easy to uh, cast from you know we're, as long as there's waters from about mid tide up so from mid tide right up through to high tide back onto mid tide out great spot to go squidding right here you can actually see the fins and on some mornings of the brim swimming and hunting for the uh, the crustaceans and the worms in, in amongst the structure and the rock and the mud High tide, you can fish this place a little, gets a little bit harder at high tide, especially if you're wading through the structure because the tide comes right into the, the cliffs. So it, it limits where you're moving if you haven't got waders on, but if you have got good boots or waders, you can move around and uh, high tide is absolute premium tide time. You get your snapper to come right in close enough, casting distance off the shore um, through your high tide, so the top two hours of the tide. In relation to seasons, We'll go warmer months, colder months. In the warmer months, I chase whiting and brim and flathead. The snapper are still around, but they're a little bit harder to find in the warmer months. In the cooler months, it's brim and snapper. And that's pretty much it for me here. Uh, I don't chase too many other species. There are plenty of bycatch, trevally, cod. Um, they're probably your main two. You do see um, schools of mackerel swimming around the reef here but I can't say I've ever targeted mackerel. The dominant winds around here, through the winter time, it changes to a westerly. So you get your southwesterlies, northwesterlies and westerlies through the winter, really clears the water off. Squid fishing becomes absolutely fantastic uh, around the Scarborough area through the winter time. On the flip side of that, in the summertime, the wind changes directions and comes around to be more south, southeasterly. Um, it does go to the north later in the summer, and um, those north northeasterlies, uh, I don't, 
I don't like at all. You will catch fish in any wind, including the north, northeasterlies. This just makes it so uncomfortable to fish. So as we pan around here, you can see the line in the sand. That line in the sand is a sand bank that uh, is completely exposed at low tide. And as the tide runs in, it, uh, it gets covered. But for a good probably six hours every tide that's completely exposed, you can walk right out there. That's one of my favorite little flathead spots. You walk along there, cast toward Bribey, um, and you'll stay away from all the snaggy, weedy uh, structure that, that's uh, back towards Scarborough. So cast towards Bribey and walk that sandbank, chase some flathead. So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't, hit the like button for me. If you haven't already, subscribe. And if you've got any questions at all, please, in the comments field, and I will get back to you. I'll see you on the next video.